Demand. I don't know how you pronounce that in English. What they do is they make like Demand AS, a hearing healthcare service and audio technology company develops, manufactures and sells products and equipment to enhance uh, people's hearing in Europe, North America and the Pacific, Asia and internationally. So that is Demand. Let's look at the stock price here. Okay, so we are uh, we are below the, the 52 week high, but still we are up there. Um, nice. Let's look at simply Wall Street here very quickly. Um, the valuation undervalued future growth 7% forecasted past performance 2% historic 2% uh, earning, earnings growth their financial position they have too many short term liabilities dividend they don't pay a dividend and yeah so I want to go here to the metrics here on a demand and take a look at it so they have a price to sales of 3.7 they have a return on uh, invested capital which is 14 that is high and they have a return on equity which is also incredibly high they have a PE ratio of 27 which is high or but it's still a um, company with a lot of growth looking forward because it's a small cap stock so let's go and see if they're actually growing the revenue um, is growing they were under 2 billion and now they're laying at uh, 2.7 billion and are they buying back their shares? In 2017, they had um, 256 million shares and now they have 134 shares. Um, buying back their shares, check mark there. And check mark to revenue. Um, the balance sheet, let's look at the total long-term assets of two and a half billion and they exceed their uh, total current liabilities. Uh, no, sorry, down here, the long-term liabilities of under one billion. So check mark to the financial position. Um, their uh, cash flow, are they growing their cash flow? Well, let's see. They grew it from 179 million to 288 million. So they are definitely growing um, this company. And that is why right here, the five pillars. They are they have a high return on invested capital. They are growing their revenue buy a lot and they have net income growth they are uh, have cash flow growth massive cash cash flow growth as well and they are buying back their shares the only thing is this uh, price to free cash flow and their uh, p ratio they are both high that is why i say put them on a watch list so you get ready when they drop down this high uh, return on invested capital and this uh, massive growth that they have seen of course justifies a bit of a higher PE ratio, but let's see how good this actually looks. So um, I'm going to go here um, I'm going to go seven eight and nine um, Here I'm going to go eleven For the profit margin I'm going to going to go eleven twelve and thirteen also a bit low bold and uh, Here I'm going to go go eleven ten and nine and the PE ratio well the PE ratio is pretty high right now um, I would say I put them at 17 19 and 21 and the same here for the free cash flow margin and that is why you'll probably see some red numbers here guys because they have a pretty high yeah so they are nearing uh, the high estimate here, uh, but I'm going to add it to my watch list um, for my mid assumptions here. Notify me. Great. So that was demand.